immediately I started to cry. I started crying. No lie, you guys. I started cr bawling, crying. I'm texting my dad. I don't want to be here. Please come get me. I can't do this. What's up, you guys? So, if you guys didn't know, I did attend Job Corps and I attended the one in Los Angeles. If you guys don't know what Job Corps is, it's a program for people that are low income and you have to be between the ages of like, I don't know, 16 to 25 or something like that to be a part of this program. You can live on campus, you don't have to live on, on campus. They will get you, if you need your GED, you can get your GED. If you wanna do a trade, they'll pay for your trade and stuff like that. So I ended up applying for Job Corps. I'm gonna have a series of these videos talking about Job Corps, but right now I'm just gonna talk about why I decided to go to Job Corps and the events le leading up to that. Then I'm going to get down and dirty with the craziness I had to deal with there, um, trying to get out. It was like a, it was like prison. <laughs> it was horrible. Like I will tell you guys why I would never send my kids there, why everybody needs to be fired and rehired someone else. Like it was crazy there. And also I'm going to talk to you guys about the after aftermath of me going to Job Corps. So today in this video only, I will talk about the events leading up to it and why I decided to go. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel too. I will have all that information in the description section and at the end of this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned because it's coming up. I heard, I can't remember exactly how I heard about Job Corps. I, I don't know if it was my dad's girlfriend at the time. She was working for some company and she was like the head boss and she had really close ties with Job Corps. She can get me in real quick. I think that was probably it because I heard it takes a very long time to get into Job Corps, but I got in within a week. I was living in LA for a while. Of course, I am from Compton, but I was living in LA and I was working at a job. I was a manager at this job. I had been there for years. I was young, a young manager. Like I became manager at 18 years old at this job, managing grown men at this job managing bilingual people at this job like so you know how it was eventually i got fired <laughs> long story don't want to talk about it so i ended up getting fired from this job and once i got fired from this job i was going crazy like i kept going to different places places like that job and do, going to all these um interviews and stuff like that or no did i call it any interviews I don't think I went on any interviews, but I was putting in a lot of applications. I was calling up. Like, I know what it takes to get a job. So I'm calling them, and I'm checking in on them, and this, this, and that, and nobody will hire me. So I told myself, you know what? It's time for me to move back home with my dad. It's time. And um, I was, like, I really didn't want to do it. I really did not want to move back with my dad. Because if you guys don't know, I moved out of my dad's house the day after graduation the day after i could not deal with him no more oh he was he would get on my nerves i don't know if it's a teen thing like oh my god my dad get on my nerves i can't do this but the day after graduation i was gone he was so freaking annoying to me but anyway so i decided to move back my dad had had was like yeah of course you can move back he had always been that kind of person like yeah i want you to live with me like i would rather for you to live with me you know and go to school or live with me or whatever he just wanted me home like I was his little booklet, little juklet. So he wanted me to be home. So I ended up moving back home with him. And immediately, once I got there, he said, you know, just take your time. Like, don't worry about working. Just relax. And that's not who I was. I don't know what happened to me after high school, but I just got this thing in me where I just wanted to do something. I had to do something. I had to be the best at what I'm doing. It's just I had to do something. I just couldn't be here. I couldn't just be sitting here. And, um, and I'm happy I got that because I don't know who exactly put that in me, but because I don't really know much people that's like that. Well, my dad is kind of like that, but in a different way. I started working at Kmart and I was working there for a couple of months and like I would get like, okay, 
they would like dangle a promotion in front of me, like not a real promotion, but like moving to a better place. Cause I was doing a uh, cashier. I was working as a cashier. They would be like, oh, you know what? We're going to put you in electronics because you know your dad's a computer engineer. So you probably know this, this, and that. And I was like super excited. Like, yes, like put me over there. Like, because me going to electronics, <laughs> this is how stupid, but me going to the electronics section, that would give me the opportunity to learn. Like I was gonna learn all about the TVs, different type of TVs, the the the, the radios and the CDs and the movies and the MP3s, the freaking gaming systems, everything. Like I was gonna learn everything. I promise you I was because that's just who I was. Like my last job, you guys have no idea. I learned everything from the top to the bottom and learned all the stuff in Spanish so I could be number one. That's how I got promoted within a couple of months to manager. So I was up there like, yes, this is me. I'm about to do this. So they would only put me over there when they were short somebody though. So I was just like, you know what? Like this is just not for me. Like I need, I need something. And plus, I don't think I want to work at Kmart for the rest of my life. Like this is actually a downgrade from my last job. My last job was way better than Kmart. I don't know how the heck I found out about Job Corps. But at this point, I was working at Kmart and I knew I needed something better. I looked into Job Corps a lot, and then I realized that when I was a kid, my brother was sent to Job Corps a couple of times. So I'm like, why was he sent to Job Corps? Like, is it a, job, a place for bad kids or bad people? And I just did a lot of research. And they offer a lot of trade school, like trade schooling, and it's super legit. Like these trades, like you're gonna go, you're gonna get your certificate, and you're literally certified. You know what I mean? Like you're not go into these places and you're getting these, this training, but yet you gotta go to another school to get certified. No, like this was, it was super legit. And it was free. It was all freaking free. So I'm like, whoa, like this is so cool. They also had the option to live on campus. Amazing. I can move from my dad's house. I could be living back in LA. I'm downtown with all, where all the stuff is happening. And I don't know, like, I feel like this was a bomb opportunity for me. I was so excited. Like, so I went to this, this little office or whatever, and I put in all my information and they gave me a pamphlet to let me know what, what uh, programs they had at this particular job course because some job course don't have certain programs so i told myself i knew i wanted to be in the medical field but i didn't know exactly where i wanted to be in the medical field so i was like hmm i want to be in the medical field but i don't know exactly where so i looked at it whatever they had a uh, seat they had lvn but I don't think I wanted to be a nurse. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be a nurse though. And then I kept looking and they had dental assisting. I'm like, ooh, like, hmm, I've always liked to go to the dentist. Like, that sounds fun to me. I love the dentist. So then I signed up for Job Corps. I did everything, did all the paperwork and everything. And I was set to go to Job Corps. I was supposed to move in within like a week, I believe. I, do not quote me on that. I was supposed to move in within a week. I was very excited. I thought it was gonna be a whole new opportunity for me. I was gonna live on campus. It's gonna be like live, being in college. And it was just gonna be this amazing, amazing thing. I packed up all my best clothes. Cause back then, I don't know if y'all know, but I was the bee's knees. I was so freaking bomb, like so bomb back then. And I had like these nice clothes. You know, I've been working, I've been buying all my stuff. Um, my hair was nice. I always had the bomb weave bomb 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 weave nobody could tell me nothing shape was nice like i was just bomb whatever it was time for me to go my dad you know packed up all my stuff in the car not all my stuff but the stuff that just to go there of course just the clothes and the shoes and hair stuff whatever and we drive to la and i was living in riverside at the time we had a condo i had my own room and everything so i'm leaving my own room to go to job corps we get to Job Corps, we pull up, and I get a little nervous. I can't deny it. It's just one big building, like six, seven floors high, and it's down, smack down in downtown LA. I had never really been to downtown LA like that before, and it was just kind of overwhelming. So my dad, I like, got gave me my stuff, and it's not like no parent, all, no parent. Oh, you know, your your child is gonna be no. It's not like that. Your parents just drop your stuff off and you go inside. You cannot, supposedly they told us we cannot have no car because there was nowhere to park. And if you did have your car and they found out, you was gonna get in trouble and all this stuff. So my dad dropped me off, I couldn't bring my car. I walk into to the job corps, right? And there's security guards right here on the left. And I had all my stuff right here. 
and I was a little bit late because it was traffic. I was coming from Riverside. So I was like probably the last person to get there. And I was looking bomb. I had I still got the same shirt. I can't remember exactly what um, if I still have the pants though. But I had on this off the shoulder green shirt that was like really loose and flowing type of thing, but like kind of kind of cropped, but a little bit low in the back. And I had on these spandex. And it was low, my, so my shirt was low in the back, so it was covering up my butt. But I had on spandex, and I had on these bomb A boots that went almost to my knees. And they were like this green color, like like greenish brown color. Not the same color as the shirt. I was looking bomb, okay? And my weave popping. Popping. Because I used to do my own hair. My dad never took me to get my hair done, so I had to always look popping on my own. <sighs> as soon as I get there, they tell me I have to change my pants. I cannot wear spandex. Immediately, I started to cry. I started crying. No lie, you guys. I started cr bawling, crying. I'm texting my dad. I don't want to be here. Please come get me. I can't do this. Please come get me. I do not want to be here. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so sad. Like, that, the, that. Probably the only thing I think I tripped off on, but everything else is super legit that I tripped off on. So make sure you guys stick around, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video because I have so much to say about Job Corps. I don't even know if I signed any papers to say I can't say what the heck happened there and do what the heck. I, I don't know if I even signed any papers to say that. So, um, hopefully, I don't get sued because I am airing out all of Job Corps Los Angeles laundry. It is going down, so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces!